I'd like to talk about you for a minute. Uh, 14 year stint with IWC, your CEO there. I mean, in the Swiss watchmaking industry, that's pretty much like a divorce. How did you deal with that on a personal level? Of course, you're emotionally attached uh, to a brand you have been running for so long. But at the end of the day, you, you have to move uh, forward in life. And uh, when, uh, when uh, I had that opportunity with Brighting, um, I said, OK, it's a dream. It's, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be part of private equity, to be uh, a co-investor, uh, to build something uh, on such a great basis. Because as I said earlier, Brighting it was at that time also a, a strong company. So uh, yes, when the train is passing, you have to jump on it. So how long did that train journey take? How, how much time passed from the moment you got the call and the pitch to the moment you put your signature on, on the agreement? Two to three months. I must say it has been a phenom phenomenal experience. I've learned a lot. Uh, they're brand builders. Um, they have that long-term view, contrary to what people say. Uh, they want to invest. They want to make the brands better and better performing. And, and Brighton will be better in a couple of years than uh, when we took it over. What about sources of inspiration? I mean, your father was a jeweler. When you look back at your upbringing and your early days, who helped drive the motivation that you have today? You have to walk through life with open eyes. You know, you, you, you just open your eyes. Look at the car industry. Uh, what are the color codes? How is it uh, developing? What kind of leather do they use? What kind of designs? What are the trends? What is going on in fashion? What is going on in arts and in, in the film industry? And I, got, I get inspiration from all these areas, and uh, as do my colleagues. 